Well, hello. Today on Grand Illusions Television, we're going to show you how to make a simple shaker rail just like this one. And all you will need is some plain natural pine. These shaker pegs, which you can get on eBay, make sure you get the ones with a screw fitting, not the piece of wood at the end. And then finally, some of our simple stain. This particular board is 900 millimeters long. But the beauty of this project is you can make the rail as long or as short as you like, as long as you put the pegs in at regular intervals, which in this case is every 150 millimeters. So making sure your ruler is in the middle of the board, just mark the little cross, moving along the board, So there you are. And now you need to drill the holes where we've made the marks. So as you can see, I've now drilled the holes and all we have to do is stain it with the Simply Stain. Water-based wood stains have been around in the furniture industry for a very long time, but until now they haven't been readily available on the high street. They leave a very acceptable antique patina and are very easy to use. Simply pour the stain into a container and apply with a brush. Try not to overbrush it or overlap the stain. Then you need to paint your pegs. You can see that I've put the pegs in a cardboard box just to help stand them up. And the last one. It doesn't matter about this excess stain, uh, it will just help to make the patina look uh, uneven and natural. So there you are. Now leave them to dry, maybe half an hour to an hour, and that's the finished job. We just need to fix the pegs in. So you can see how the pegs have dried to a natural looking stain. All we need to do now is screw them into your rail.
And the last one. One very easy shake around. 